Hey everyone, this is Grant with Spark Sites. Welcome to June. Is it June already? I can't believe it's June already. I still want it to be May. So real quick for the uh, video training for today, um, we want to talk about this because we see a lot of like micromanagement requests coming up to us about what to do with some of the text above the fold on the cell phone or on the desktop and it's specifically usually around the most one of the most important elements on your website for sure on mobile and definitely in other places on the website. So I want you to think about this real quick. I'm talking about sales on site. In short, your website is about features and benefits. So basically with your website, you are selling something. You're selling a service, you're selling a product, or if you're a nonprofit, you're selling a cause, but you're selling something. And even if you just have an online brochure, you um, are basically a site that has two or three pages and it just talks about your concept, you're still talking about the features and benefits, even if it's a cause of just being involved. Now, there's always some sort of call to action on a brochure, and for some reason it's always tucked down at the end somewhere, and usually it's like, call now for an appointment or something like that. So what I want to talk about is people hate sales in general. I love it, but other people hate it. And so on the site, you're basically hoping your site does some sales for you. But really, when we build your site, all the site initially does is talk about features and benefits. Then when we put that button, that one particular call to action. So sales on site isn't just features and benefits. It's the call to action and it's that button that occurs usually right above the fold in your little cell phone. It shows up there, hopefully, it better, um, or on your website, it's usually at the very top. This is closing the deal or with something not so intense, it's known as asking for the sale. This is the thing that petrifies people and if you're hoping to get around sales by having a website, you got to make sure you have a powerful CTA, a powerful call to action. Um, so hopefully you're thinking through very specifically on what that, what that is. So real quick, I want to show you one no-no on your call to action and three things to test. Number one, here's the big no-no. Um, no more than one. Oops, CTA, not CAT. No more than one CTA. A lot of times we build a site and we'll go back and visit that site later. And some of you have added a second call to action. Visit my Facebook page, email us, whatever it is. I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to increase people actually taking action, right? A call to action. But what you're doing is, is it's basically saying, hey, listen, I have all this makeup for sale. Would you like to buy this makeup or hang out with me and buy coaching? You're creating a dilemma and the person gets confused and not really sure to know how to interact with you. Sure, you can talk about your Facebook page later, but one big no-no, do not have more than one call to action above the fold. It's a primary thing for your website. If you want to talk about Facebook or if you're not really sure why they're not taking action, then you test. So here are three things that you can test using the theme that we've given you, call us or ask for help or whatever it is you need. Number one, you need to test your text or the verbiage, verbiage. Basically, if you say, call now, that's great. And you're not getting any phone calls, why not? Try, get a quote. If you are talking about buy now, you might want to, cons and you're not getting the sales you want, you might want to experiment with sale in soon. Don't put more than one call to action, just test your text or verbiage. The second thing you can test, your color. So then, believe it or not, you could leave your text the same, change the color and see a hugely different amount of responses. Even though your brand might be orange and you wanna go for brand awards and you've got like white and orange and earth tones and all the stuff, but your sales aren't happening. Try something completely off like lime green. Well, whoa, 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 what about my brand? Yeah, what about your sales? It may or may not work, but I really encourage you to experiment with color, even if it might glitch. In fact, in some ways, you want a powerful CTA to glitch with a cohesive brand. Sometimes, we can talk about that. But experiment with it, test it. Uh, the last thing I want to tell you to do is test is placement. So the first thing, Never remove your call to action from above the fold on your cell phone. That's 
Above the fold just means in this space on your cell phone or in that same visible screen right when your website comes up. Never remove that, right? But for the rest of your site, experiment with a call to action in the footer. Experiment with a call to action on the blog page in the right hand side. Put it in the first position. Put it in the second position. Put it in a position as it scrolls down the page. Experiment with placement of your call to action. Again, not on the home page, not above the fold on the home page, but anywhere else, experiment with that. Um, even pop ups, even though Google's ranking pop ups down, maybe those little bars that drop down called a hello bar, you might want to experiment with a call to action there. We can help you with all that. Give us a buzz and let us know. But the first thing I want you to know is that you've got to be asking for the sale, guys. You're in business, and some of you aren't afraid of it, but some of you are. So here's one thing you don't want to do. No more than one um, call to action above the fold. Test your text and verbiage. Test your color. Test your placement until you find a combination that works. And guess what? It'll only work for a little while when you have to test it again. So that's our tip for this month, guys. Get with your call to action. Holler at us if we can help you with anything. Tomorrow, we're going to be holding a blog workshop here in town, but get back with us. We're about to be in this position where we circle back and help you guys with all of your services because um, we're about to hit our numbers. So give us a buzz and let us know how we can be serving you. Hopefully, you're out there sparking lives of explosive significance, and we'll talk soon. Thank you.